Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you how to find rockstar blog ideas, uh, which will dramatically improve your SEO. You could be trying to write blogs that will help you rank on Google search engines and also just to possibly find some low hanging fruits in regards to products that you might be selling or also categories, things like that. Let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go over to a website called Quora.com. Not sure if I'm saying this properly. This is really effective for ideas. Um, it's also really effective, especially in the United States where I presume most of the blogs are written. So if you come over to Quora, we'll just jump over to the tab here. So here's the URL. So what we want to do is we want to copy this URL. And I picked up this tip from Base Search Marketing. So shout out to them for this tip. It's an excellent tip. And they sent out an email before that just refreshed my memory about doing such a type of um, keyword research, uh, blog ideas. There's also uh, a few other blogging websites that you can do this on. And I uh, can't think of them off the top of my head, but I've done it before with a few other ones like Reddit. Reddit's a good one for, for doing this also. So what you wanna do is you wanna copy the URL as you can see here, blogs get updated based on the algorithm of Quora and things like that. Come back to your Ahrefs or Rfs, however you say it in Australia. I just say Ahrefs. I don't even know why. I think I heard someone say that once. Paste it in here to your site explorer. So come to site explorer and then paste it in here and then search for this domain. Now, what you want to do now is you want to think about the keyword of the blog that you want to write for. So in my instance, I want to do it for the music shop because I'm doing the series on the music shop and I want to search for guitars because predominantly we sell a lot of guitars. That's where I want to focus my blogs on and possibly find new ideas and what people might be searching for. So what we do here is you come into your overview and instead of clicking here, you can click organic keywords, which is probably the best thing, but there's also organic keywords over here. I just like to press this one. Okay. Now, as you can see, these are the keywords. This is how much traffic volume uh, in terms of people searching it. And this is the actual amount of traffic coming through. They're obviously in position one. It's their own website. And then this is the URL. So what you want to do here is you want to come over to the keyword. And as I said before, I want to find something in a phrase match that contains the word guitar. So, so let's just type that in and you can use this for anything, press apply, and then make sure you press this show results here. It's a new feature from Ahrefs. Click that. Okay. Now what you can see here is what key is a guitar in? Okay, that's a little bit broad. It's also quite difficult. So you can see 11. It's not very difficult on the scale to 100. However, this is, uh, it's not an easy keyword to rank for and it's quite broad. So as you can see here, what key is a guitar in without a capo? Okay, cool. So that's a little bit more interesting. What I like to do is I like to get a little bit more granular and find easy keywords or easy key phrase that I could possibly blog about. So come over here, keyword difficulty, and I put in zero to one. Now that's extremely easy in terms of ranking, click show results. Okay, so what we can see now is all the keyword difficulties are zero and then there's a one. The next thing I like to do is, okay, you can rank for something with a lot of traffic or something with a little bit of traffic. That's completely up to you. So what I like to do is I, I do come through to the volume section and I say anything that's over 100 volume in terms of people searching for that within Quora, then that's what I like to go for. Um, but don't be discouraged by the 50s, even the 40s, um, because any traffic through to your website, if it's specific, you can either sell a lot or you can target a lot of people that are after that type of key phrase. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of low hanging fruit in here. So let's just get to it. I will just put in for starter's sake, um, I'm going to do 50, 50 to whatever, because I don't want anything under 50. But um, I, could pr I should probably go for 100, to be honest. And then what you can do here is you can find the highest volume. So you click this one. And then you can see the highest volume of searches within Quora. 
Okay. So as you can see here, it's actually within Google and then the traffic is through Quora. So as you can see here, Quora, did Elvis previously ever play the bass guitar? Crazy question, but 2.4K searches. Okay. You can write about that if, if, if I want to do a fun piece about that. I've got no idea. So I, I'll probably steer clear of that one. But as you can see here, this is bizarre. Like Fender Acoustic Guitar, why? Why is Fender Acoustic Guitar not more difficult? That blows my mind. It's such a popular product. So if you go like this, you can come through to the actual blog. It says that it's lost. However, what is the difference between a Fender Acoustic Guitar and a Taylor Acoustic Guitar? That's also a blog that you could write about. But then Fender Acoustic Guitar, that's the keyword. So what I do is I copy that and I press control F and you can see here, it just pops up automatically and it's been used twice on this page. So there's one and then there's the other one. So the way I see it, a lot of content based around um, keywords and things like that. But if you write a perfectly constructed blog, constructed blog about this in particular, and you are selling Fender guitars on your website, we are about to. So I might actually take up this offer. So what I'll do is I'll go through to my WordPress or my Shopify or whoever I write my blogs, create a new post. That will be the title. That will be the exact URL. And then people can come through. You'll start to see the traffic come through. I'm definitely going to do this one, but let's just jump back and see if there's any other low hanging fruits. I'm going to tick that. So I tick it so I just don't forget it. You can either add it to your keyword tracker. So if you click here, um, you can, it, it brings up, you know, your rank tracker and things like that. And I've got a few clients there that um, I can do that for, but I probably don't really want to track this. This is one of those things where, okay, well, it might rank, it might not. But if it does, how good's that? People are coming through for this blog can put some pictures there, can put some products on there that actually are Fender acoustic guitars or some alternative Fender acoustic guitars, um, which we definitely have at the moment. So I'm leaning towards the alternative ones that people come through and they're like, okay, this isn't a Fender, but it looks very much like one. The reviews are fantastic. I might actually consider this. So it's that top of the funnel type of stuff. And then you want to lead them into a buying customer. So as you can see here, the seven string guitar, that's an interesting one. I'm going to tick that one. So I can definitely write a blog about that. We definitely sell those on the site. There's a few things that, you know, guitar drawing, that's obviously someone just looking for something on Google, small guitar. That could be one that could be a category on my website. So small guitars, and I'm sure we already have a small guitars category. Um, then there's things like this that you can write about, but I'd say this would be for more for the music sheet side of things um, and websites based around music sheets, headless guitars. Okay. That's fantastic. So I know that we have headless guitar. What is the point of a headless guitar? And I can actually, I'll right click on that, open in a new tab. There's the blog. It's coming up here now. What is the point of a headless guitar? What is the point of a headless guitar? So once again, copy that control F you bring up this and then look, it's been mentioned nine times. So I think you get the flow of what's happening here. And this is some really amazing opportunities for, um, for finding low hanging fruits and being able to write blogs based on this content and getting through brand new traffic, because at the end of the day, any traffic's good traffic besides those bots and things in those, um, countries that we won't speak about. They do a lot of bad spammy bots and, but make sure your security set up well on your website and also Google starting to reward people for captures and things like that on their website. So make sure you always look after your security of the website, but this is how we get rock star ideas in terms of um, research and developing new blogs and new ideas. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and um, yeah, subscribe for more ideas like this. I try to post weekly. And if you want us to do this for you, we provide a full Google based search marketing um, uh, strategy. And we also do consultations in order to yeah, get people the best bang for their buck. And if you're a bigger business and you want to bring someone in house, I also do consultations on how to find that right person. 
but also set up a strategy so then when that person comes in, you're good to go. And if you want to take it away from other agencies, which I'm finding a lot happening at the moment and people bringing people in-house, then that's probably the, the most important thing to do is to make sure that you get someone that's an expert at uh, consulting and finding the right things and finding what your business needs. So hopefully you found this valuable. And if you did, like I said, like up uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.